hope you're well. Um, today is Tuesday, so it's my day off, my second day off. And um, tomorrow I go back to work for five days. So I had a good day today. I had a movie day today. And um, I watched three very good movies. So I want to tell you about it. So this first one I've seen is called Yesterday's Children in 2000 with Jane Seymour, Clancy Brown, and Kyle Howard. So, yeah, it's a really good movie. A mother's haunting dreams led her to another place, another time, and a mysterious past, her own. She travels to Ireland, where she relives a past life, and meets her, quote, children, now in their 70s, while she's in her 40s. A touching tale of redemption. Yeah, um, it's a wonderful movie. Uh, yeah, make me cry. <laughs> and let's see what the people have to say about it. So who else cried when Sonny arrived at the churchyard? What a beautiful story, well told and well acted by all. I cry too. I lost my mother when I was 12. My mother died in 1967 of ovarian cancer after being sick a long time. There were eight of us. The baby was five. My father was a marine in the South Pacific and had so many demons of his own. This movie brought back many of my own memories and reminded me again that no matter how old we are, we always miss our mother. God has blessed us though and kept my siblings close. We have each other and faith that we will see our mother again. Yeah, this movie, um... I will remind you of your mother, of a wonderful mother. I lost my mother at age one due to childbirth, complicated by pneumonia. I have always felt her spirit guiding me. Beautiful story and the eternal bond a mother has with her children. I can only say I wish we had more movies like this one. These days everything is so dark. This story is beautiful and very moving. Such a beautiful, sad story. I wish they made more movies like this. I could actually feel the sadness, the fear, the mean spirit of the father, the love of the mother, her desperation, the close bond she had with Sonny, and also the few good times. I was so drawn in and felt so much, it was like I was there with them, and yes, I cried with them and for them. We need more movies like this that transport you there. What a wonderful heartfelt movie. I cried in this movie too. Um, it's actually based on, a, it's inspired by a true story actually. And so it made it that much more special and um, just uh, very supernatural and um, just beautiful. I was sobbing when Sonny appeared in the gate of the churchyard to see his other siblings. After all those years, I was sobbing too. Really wonderful story. Thank you so much for sharing this gem of a movie with us. Every movie I've ever seen with Jane Seymour has been an emotional journey into the lives of the characters she portrays so beautifully. Her gentle spirit always shines forth, beckoning to those of us watching. This particular movie was especially moving. All of the characters were so well portrayed. This movie will haunt my dreams for a long time to come. 
Yeah, very, very beautiful, beautiful lady. And then the next one I see is Cinderella. It's an epic romantic drama. It's a complete mini series. So it's a really long movie. Because um, it's actually a mini series. And I'll watch the whole thing. Cinderella, once upon a time in post-war Rome, 13-year-old Aurora, a gifted pianist, is the daughter of Valeria, a brilliant conductor. After Aurora's mother died, Valeria hired Irene, a single mother of two girls, to run the household. To Aurora's regret, he decides to marry Irene. One day, Aurora happens to meet the boys next door, Freddy and Sebastian, the sons of a wealthy Italo-Austrian family. Freddy is an easygoing chap, though sometimes a little bit arrogant. His father, Sebastian, is kind and shy, with a great ability to listen to and understand people, which makes him win Aurora's heart. However, Aurora's life is shattered when her father suddenly dies, Irene, the unloved stepmother, lays hands on the family's assets and turns her late husband's villa into a hotel. Aurora is unable to claim her right to inheritance until her 21st birthday. Irene makes her give up schooling and piano playing. Instead, she has to work as a maid in the hotel. So it's filmed in 2011 and the stars are Vanessa Hessler and Flavia Parenti. It's a really good movie too. It's uh, three and a half hours long because I watched the whole thing and it's a mini series. <clears throat> See what the people have to say about it. There couldn't be a better modern version of Cinderella than this movie. Very modern, yet stuck to the storyline. Traded the mice for real people, who were the ones who loved Aurora as family. Evil stepmother and sisters were in perfect character. I am not an easy judge on remakes. However, this is a definite must-see movie. I have no words to express how I feel about this movie. Spectacular and intriguing. Love it, love it, love it. As a real Cinderella, some never get the good ending, so a girl can dream. Great movie. I love this. Gorgeous set, design, and beautiful adaptation. Dramatic, modern, and sweet at the same time. Really worth watching. I don't know how many versions of Cinderella in this earth, but this one really got me. I absolutely love this movie. Great version of Cinderella. Beautifully made modern rendition of the wonderful original. Such a beautiful Cinderella movie. Had me tearing up. What a beautiful version. I loved it. This is a beautiful movie. I fell in love all over again. I want a part two. Also, both versions of Aurora are played by beautiful women. So yeah, it's a beautiful movie. And then the ne next one I've seen is called An Old Fashioned Thanksgiving. Maybe in 2008. It's a holiday drama. Uh, a beautiful movie. I love this one too. Very moving. Okay, 
An old-fashioned Thanksgiving is inspired by Louisa May Alcott's beloved story, short story on a poor New Hampshire farm in 1860s America. Family ties are tested during the Thanksgiving holiday when a wealthy better woman pays an unexpected visit to her estranged daughter and grandchildren. As she attempts to control the family with money and social influence, secrets of the past are revealed, ones that could tear the family apart forever, or finally reunited for a long-awaited old-fashioned Thanksgiving. The stars are Jacqueline Bissett, Tatiana Maslany, Helene Joy, Christopher Turner, Paula Baudreau, Ted Adderton, Michael Barbuto. Yeah, beautiful movie. Let's see what the people say about it. I love the old-fashioned Thanksgiving. Everyone has gone too commercial. I really enjoyed this movie. It's so refreshing to be able to watch a wholesome film with no violence and sex. The story was so believable with a happy ending. Those were trying yet beautiful times when people genuinely care about one another's well-being. I love the lovely vintage dresses, hats and burned out shawls. Very classy. The main cast consists of charming looking people. The whole storyline was well narrated and everyone did a great job of acting even the little ones. This movie was very pleasant to watch. Good for the soul with great moral values to live by. We need a part two. So heartwarming. And what is needed most in the world, a love for neighbors, fam friends and family. Every once in a while, the world needs to have a film of beauty and old world charm like this. Ah, oh, a very sweet film. I do agree, we need a part two. Saw this delightful movie based on Louisa May Alcott's story when it first aired many years ago. So glad to have found it again. The true meaning of Thanksgiving is to be found in this story. Yeah, beautiful movie. I enjoyed all three of them today. And um, I hope you're all well. And I'll see you in the next uh, video.